Hi, I'm Hilma Miller and I'm very, very passionate about women becoming everything that God has called them to be. Women stepping out and finding their destinies in God and really living out that. And I really just want to share um, about a few women that really inspired me to step out and be the woman that God has called me to be. Um, the first woman that, I, that comes to mind is Paula White. Uh, simply because she was one of the women I saw preaching for the very first time shortly after I got saved I turned on the television and here's this skinny beautiful Passionate lady just preaching about God and being so passionate about his word and and just not caring about who's who's watching But just going all out and when I saw her for the first time I, I thought to myself I really want God to use me in ministry like that. I want to preach one day She really inspired me to pursue ministry and to to desire to teach and preach the word of God And I know there's a lot of controversy around her but one thing I love about her is the fact that she, she doesn't try to be perfect. She knows that we are human and she shares her life about what God has done, how God has brought her from nothing, shaped her, molded in different seasons of her life. And now she finds God in, through every challenge that she has encountered even up to this day. So she's really inspired me on numerous occasions. And the next person that I can think of is Catherine Kuhlman. Um, I'm inspired by the fact that she was such a lover of the Holy Spirit. She, she never wanted to minister without God. She was always so humble and recognized that nothing that she is or ever could be, um, even as this great person that used to fill um, stadiums, she always recognized that it's because of the hand of God upon her life. And I loved just um, finding out that she would spend hours behind the curtain before she comes out to minister, just crying out to God for God to show up and to minister through her. So she really inspired me through that. And and I fr uh, just getting to know her made me feel like I, I really want to minister under the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't ever want to do something without the Holy Spirit, you know. Yeah, and the next person that, that or next woman that really inspired me is um, Madam C.J. Walker, being the first millionaire black woman uh, in the States, um, using what she experienced in life, not only for her own healing, but for the healing of other women. Um, after just losing all her hair because of stress and hard work and and, and uh, um, someone coming into her life to help her gain her hair back. We all know that hair is a crown for most women. And, and through her story, she, she thought that she could inspire a lot of other women and went on to start hair products um, for black women specifically to just build the, the, the self-confidence of black women. And by doing so, she, she, she provided jobs for many people and really broke through into an area where, uh, which was very uh, rare for black women at that time and especially the type of black woman that she was, not very pretty, not, you know, but she was able to, to do this, you know, to, to come and, and restore beauty uh, in women's lives. The next person or next, another woman that, that inspired me a lot is also, um, I must say, Oprah Winfrey. Growing up, I always enjoyed watching her TV shows. Um, a lot of them were very inspirational, but the one thing that really that, that stood out for me with Oprah is when she was sharing her life story of how she became who she is. And I remember specifically mentioning the one day um, going with her grandmother to work. Her, her grandmother was a dom domestic worker and her grandmother practically raised her. And she was sitting and her grandmother was hanging her clothes and she told Oprah, pay attention, watch what I'm doing because when you grow up, you're gonna do what I'm doing. And as a little girl watching her grandmother, she, she, was, she just said no. In her spirit, in her heart, she said no because it's not what she wanted to do when she grew when she grows up. She did not want to fall in that trap of a generations of generations of domestic workers. And as a result, she set out to break uh, this generational thing that she's been seeing in, in her family and, and do something completely different that black women at her time could not do. 
and and she really inspired me in that that she she went out and and and, and broke ground in areas like um, being a news anchor and hosting her own TV show and really just standing up and being her own person that that inspired me a lot so I can think of one more woman uh, and I think that that must be Heidi Baker uh, leaving her comfort in the States because she's heard God calling her to do ministry in Mozambique Wow she left the comfort of the USA to go into a nation that is still trying to recover after so many uh, years of war just to take care of the orphans, the widows and those that uh, have been victims in this war and just how she selfless, selflessly packed everything and just said God I'm here to be used by you and really restoring so many people, giving um, children that were hopeless, a new hope, a new life, trusting God to multiply food, seeing miracles while she's doing this and, and just restoring hope and life to the people in Mozambique. So I, I, she's very inspirational to me because of her, her love for God, her love and passion for God translated into a love and passion for people that she, she allowed God to use her to minister to the needs of people. Um, even in the worst of situation, uh, situations and places. So yeah, those are the women that really, really inspired me. And I hope that you are inspired just by listening to these stories and that you as a woman will be encouraged to step out and become everything that God has called you to be. Remember, there's no limitation except those you set for yourself. God wants to break through every limitation and bring you out to flourish as a woman in the area that is called you to be in. All right, bye-bye.